Oh, Breach Ruddy. What was your maiden name? Breach Lannery. And where were you from? I was from a pla just a little village outside Castlebar called Sorna. Sorna. And who, was you, who did you marry? I married Brian Ruddy. And where was he from? He was from Tubbercurry in Sligo. Okay. And what was he uh, working at when you first met? What were you working at, first of all? Oh, I was a clerical officer in, Castle, in the courthouse in Castlebar. In the courthouse, there. Uh, and what was Brian working at then? Brian always was in the bar business. Oh, he was always in the bar business. He had a pub in Sligo, in oh. Tubbercurry. In Tubbercurry. And was that a family business? It is, it, he had two sisters. It, oh, and they're all in, the, in that business, yeah? Well, they're, 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 yeah. All, they're all, they're both alive, but he... Died, he died, yeah. And uh, when did you come to Westport? We came to Westport in '59. And what did you do when you arrived here? It was a small little building, and uh, there was four, five, six or seven bedrooms. Hmm. Uh, we, uh, we did bed and breakfast. And, and, w and was it a bed and brec breakfast before you got it? Well, years before that, I'd hmm. say so, but then it was run down. Yeah. But we fixed it all up. And who did you buy it off? We bought it off Hastings. Hastings. That's the, the Hastings family from Westport, the well-known Tim Hastings and the yes. garage people and all that. Yes. And uh, did you buy it off Rosie, was it? They would be related to Kay Co now. Kay Co, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, you started off the B&B &B then? That's right. And you had seven bedrooms? Uh, we had seven bedrooms. Mm. And was there, there was no bar here that time, no? No bar. We got the bar in 63. In 63. So you had to buy a license for that, I yeah? Had to buy a license. And when did you go hotel? When did you set up the hotel? I set up the hotel in 63. 63. And did you expand the house to, to do the hotel? Yeah. We, we um, built on... First we built... Uh, the, uh, two, we made a two-story. Yeah. And then... After some more years again, we added more bedrooms, so we ended up with 56 altogether. 56. So you bought uh, another premise, uh, premises at some stage. Was the Goldens here? Oh, that was next door. That's right. We bought go That's right. Goldens yeah. were sold then. Yeah. And we bought that. And who was it? That is where the present bar is. Where the present bar is. So that was Patsy Goldens' place? Yeah, that was. What was the name of that hotel at the time? Royal. The Royal Hotel. Yeah. It's always called, always called, called Royal Hotel. Always, as hmm. far as I know. And the Golden set it up, or was it somebody before him set it up? Yeah, there was someone there before them. There was somebody there before them. They were Scottish people. Hmm. And did you do uh, catering before that? We, yeah. you we did. Once well, well, we came here, we, we, did, uh, we started a chip shop. Chip shop, yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, I've heard him say that, that's why I asked you. Yeah. And was it, was it, was it a good business? The chip shop? It did very well. Very well, yeah. yeah. The night we opened, there was a queue up to the, as far as, up to the top of GM Street. Oh, okay. Now, had there been another chip shop in town, or were you the first one? No, we were the first you one. You were the first one, yeah. And what were we selling with the chips? Uh, fish. Fish. And you could get um, sandwiches and soup and various yeah. things. And was the takeaway or eat in? Or both? Pardon? Could you eat in? In the restaurant or in the chipper in the chip shop, you, you could eat in. Yeah, no, or take away. Did you yeah, do take away? No, you could sit down. It was the you counter could and, sit down, yeah. And uh, you could you could take away. We did take away as well. Yeah. And what kind of fish were you selling? Oh, it would be uh, uh, cod, I'd say, really generally. Mm. And we'd do it in a dressing, and yeah. it would be fried as well as the chips. Yeah. And where were you getting the fish from? Were well, there local fishing that time? Oh, yes. Would you, would you buy the fish off the locals? Yes, we used to. Okay, right, yeah. And at that time, was Westport a good tourist town? Oh, it, Brian's mother was very interested in, in uh, tourism. Mm. And she was the whole... She was, she was the whole source behind this, mm. uh, the, the whole thing. And she came here and she saw, saw this building and she said, this is the place for, for Brian to settle down. And she was visiting, was she, when it happened? She was a great businesswoman. Was she great? She um, was related. She was a sister of Mrs. McGaniff. That's yeah. Brian's mother. Brian's mother, yeah. Brian McGaniff's mother. So, um, 
So he knew the magnifs up in Donegal. Pardon? He knew the magnifs. Yes. In yes. Donegal, yeah. The Brian, Brian's mother, my husband's mother, and Brian McNiff, McNiff's brother were sisters. Okay, right, yeah. So the McNiffs are, McNiffs are in this business as well? Yeah. And they, they, did they help you with... Yeah. They gave Brian the idea. They gave him the idea, yeah, yeah. And Brian used to cater a lot for fishermen here, did he? Oh, yes. Mm. He went abroad a lot um, on exhibitions, you know, and um, he, um, Tommy Brennan was a great man too at the time. He was involved in the Westport tourism. He was the postmaster, wasn't he? He was, that's mm. right. And yeah, I heard he was very involved in local things. No, Tommy Brennan now yeah. was also a Sligo man. Oh, yeah. You had a little gang down here, did you? Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, was Westport a busy town that time? Ooh. Westport, was it busy? No, it was just, just beginning to move. But, yeah. And from there on, it, it was empty. So this is a family business now? Yes. Maria and That's right. is involved now, yeah. Yeah. So we're joined by Maria, who's the second generation. Mm -hmm. How long are you involved? Probably since you were, came to the house. Or were born, oh, since you came since to the house, came to the house yeah, uh, you can't well, get away from it, no? Officially, um, Darren and I took over in 1995, yeah. I think. 1995, And what are your memories of it in the early days? Yeah. Well, we lived here up, up until oh, I was eight. You lived in the house? Yeah, we lived oh, okay. in the house. So I would have remembered all the functions and uh, all the dinner dances, the horse show, the big ball, um, the weddings, the bands, clean, taking up the carpet after the functions and stuff like that. So um, all the fishermen coming, mm. going out to the quay with, and seeing all the large skate at the quays, uh, particularly Dutch and English fishermen. And I heard your father, your father used to give them packed lunches and drop them down and pick them up. Oh and yeah. Really and, looked after uh, them. Yeah, he would have done a lot of marketing in Holland. Probably one of the first people to go abroad to do um, marketing of Westport. So he was heavily involved in that at that stage, and a lot of lads from the UK. And was that Westport tourism or doing that, or was he doing it on his own bat? He was doing it on, on his own bat initially. Yeah. yeah. Um, Michael Heffernan, I remember at the time, was um, involved in the tourist office, mm. which was down on the Mall at the time, mm. and. Uh, yeah, heavily involved in that at that stage. And we, of course, we had the garden. Like, well, James Street was very good because we had um, a load of families living on James Street. Mm -hmm. So there was loads of kids on James Street at that time. Mm -hmm. And we had the garden station with the Mayo News across the road. So it was a busy street, much busier probably than it is now commercially. Mm -hmm. um, and you had Gavin's up at the top of the street. You had Dyer's news agents. You had Mulcrones, you had, of course, the Butchers, you had Hogan's, you had Sergeant Hogan's, the pub, yeah. you had Nolan's pub yeah. across the road. So there's a lot more pubs and, mm. and businesses. Busier places at the time. Yeah, it was a busy time, busy yeah. street. Who worked here over the years that you can recall? Oh, you were better than me at that. Who worked in reception? Maureen Flynn worked here. Yeah. And um, Noreen Flynn, don't go to her, she's on Yeah, her yeah. Shirt. yeah. <laughs> Julie and Joyce. Then. Julia? Yeah, Julia Joyce. Mary Kenny. Mary Kenny. And then yeah. Johnny. And then Canning. That's right. Mary Rowe. Was business, was there a good business community in Westport that time? Business leaders. It just, and, just started to move. Yeah, yeah. And who were the, the big guys behind it at the time? Behind the, uh, behind the business. The business uh, organisation. Yeah. That one would be, yeah. as I say again, yeah. Tommy Brennan and Brian Rudd. And Brian, yeah. And were Jeff O'Malley and all these people involved in business? And yeah, Jeff was, yeah, that's right. Mm. Stephen Walsh? Yeah. Stephen Walsh? Yeah, I mm. say so. Okay. So Brian was involved in sport, or uh, the spectator, or he supported... GA man. GA man, yeah. And was involved in Westport United, setting up, and the boxing club here in, in, yeah. in yeah. Westport. Involved in setting up the boxing club and Westport United, I mm. think. Some people say, say to me that I'm giving lifts to, to them to mm. matches and stuff like that. 
So he was a busy man between hotels and marketing and involved, community involvement and all that kind of stuff, yeah. It was great to have people like that around. But there were a lot of them. I didn't see the old photographs. And there were loads of uh, business people like Stephen Walsh and the O'Malley's and yeah. Brian and Mickey Cavanaugh later on and all that, yeah. Mickey, Mickey and Dad would have been good friends as well. And uh, I suppose we would have traditionally been the Fianna Fáil house. Mickey would have been traditionally the Fianna Gael mm. house. And, uh, well, that creates a discussion. The <laughs> they'd open up books between them and then they compare notes afterwards. It was good crack. And they'd be talking afterwards. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's, yeah. that's so politics. He's a great character. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, I suppose we've always been very lucky in Westmont. Mm. All the hotels yeah. were always family run, yeah. which is very unusual for... Even now, most of them are family very, run. Well, they're all family, they're all family run. run, yeah. Yeah, very well, unusual. Yeah. When you went to... to where did you go to national school, Breach? I went to a place called Burn, outside Castle Burn. Burn, over, yeah. And who was teaching you down there? There was a man uh, and his wife. There were principals there, Mr. and Mrs. Mungie. Mm. And what year was that about? Roughly, what is That was before we got married in 59, so that was about... Um, in the 40s, uh, the, sometime in the 40s. 40. Yeah. And what was school like that time? Were there many kids in that school? Oh, there was. It was but they, they just started all falling back, mm. immigration and all the rest of it. Mm. And were the teachers uh, cross there at the time? Yeah? Were, did, were they cross? Oh, they were, they were cross, no. Yeah, were they using the... They were. You got a few slaps down again, yeah. And what did you think of that, when you look back on it? With what? What did you think of it when you look back on it? <laughs> did it do you any harm? Did it do you any harm, no? No. And you're resentful yeah. that this happened. <laughs> Tell me this, uh, what, has there been much changes in your, life, in your lifetime now? Oh, there's a lot of changes, all for the better, of course. All for the better, yeah. yeah. In, what's the biggest change you would have kind of thought about? The biggest change? Or changes? Well, the biggest change that I've seen is it, um, how Westwood has come up with the tourism mm. and the way that Westwood has... At that stage, it was only the railway hotel mm. and um, the central was there. The central, that's right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And now there's 10, 11. There's 10 of them, yeah. <coughs> yeah. There are much more facilities now than there used to be. Right? Much more. Much more, yeah. yeah. You, more. You're very close to a very big one here, aren't you? The, the town hall, the town one. Swimming yeah. pool and gym and the whole lot. Yeah, that's right, yeah. On your doorstep. It's yeah. Super, yeah. And the river out is your back door. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful river, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's lovely, yeah. 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 What do you think of all these new greenways and walkways and everybody trying to cycle? And I think it's a good thing. It's a great thing. Great thing, yeah, yeah. <coughs> I suppose you cycled to school all the time, you did? School? You cycled to school? Yeah. Mm. Walked and cycled. Had you fair to go to school? Not really, Not just really. about a mile and a half. No, you weren't too bad then, yeah. yeah. And how used to heat the school that time in your place? Oh, fires. Mm. An open fire. There was nothing else. And who, who supplied the, was it turf or timber or? It used to be turf. Yeah. And who used to bring in the turf? Yeah, uh, the turf was brought in. People all supplied the turf, you know. They brought it in, did they? Uh, people that had children in the school mm. brought in and supplied the turf for the each. Good. When you were young, did you drink much? No. No? I didn't drink at all. And what do you think about it nowadays? I think everything is really... <laughs> it's, everything has, has advanced too quickly, mm. I think, really. When you were a young person or a young teenager, how did you spend the time? Spend the time then? Yeah. At night time? Well, middle of winter, what would you do in the middle of winter? Oh, it was to play cards and they could go to houses. Visiting, yeah. Have cups of tea and that kind of stuff. Mm. And would there be any drink in the houses? No, there was no drinking. There'd be less of sherry now and again. No. No? <laughs> and did you go to dances? Oh, yeah, it was dances all right. Mm -hmm. There was house dances as well. House dances. And was it murky dances? Mm. Carnivals. And where would they be held? Like they wouldn't be held in the burden, would they? No, 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 no. no. they'd be held out 
out in Castlebar and outside. Mm. Were you ever in the TF? Travellers Friend? Yeah. Was that there in your time or was it after your time? No, it, was, it, was, it wasn't there now in my time much, but it was, oh, it was in my time, surely. Mm. And did you go to it? Yeah. And was it busy? It was very busy there. Were, were you ever in the Starlight? Starlight? Mm. Well, surely. Mm. Yeah. Where was it? That was did, Just that where was Port West is now. Yeah. Mm. And who did you see there? Can you remember who was playing there in your time? What oh. band were in it? Or? Oh, we used to have Joe Dolan, anyway. Yeah. He'd yeah. be later on. Tom, yeah. Big Tom. Big Tom. Well, they were all later on, but yeah. in their earlier years. Was Roy Orbison there with you today here? I don't know. Yeah. Mm. Could have been. Yeah. And did you go up to it many times? Up where? Up to the Starlight. Oh, yes. Yeah. There were a lot of factories in Westport that time, was there? There was the shirt factory. Yeah. Yes. And then we had another factory down there. The that, hat factory. The hat factory? Yeah. yeah. Where was that? That was down where Westford Mills are now, down here. Okay, yeah. And was there Lestra? Yeah. What do you call Coke Kids Best? Linnemill. Yeah. No, it's not. Linnemill. It's Linnemill. It used to be uh, Westport Textiles, is it? Yeah. Textiles. Textiles, yeah. Yeah.